Hey guys, Crew Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Aaron. And we're back with Marvel's Agents of Ooh. S.H.I.E.L.D. Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Last time on Marvel's what? Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., what happened? We had future-y, flashback -y future flashback-y yeah, future stuff Yeah, we had some stuff happening. And uh, we had some shenanigans and tomfoolery with the people, and then they, they killed Robin. Death! God damn it, you're right. That did happen. Uh, Robin is dead. Sonar is going out to look for the shield agents. We no, it's not that it's close. It's like, like oh, we. It's better. Uh, we probably had a poll last time, Aaron. I think it was talking about that. I was looking up our wobbly, 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 wobbly stuff. Um, agents of the future are are the agents in the flashback from the future or experiencing the events for the first time? Yes. It had thirty six percent say future. 63% mm -hmm. say first time. Okay. Future. So future. Future. You said that they were in like a time loop, so mm -hmm. let's see what people say. Maybe some people that are smarter than us. Way smarter. Have some ideas of something. Way more ideas. Something clever. Way clever. So Andrew says, I think there's a lot of timey wimey shenanigans happening, but I'm living the story that... I am living the story this season, so I'm okay with being slightly confused. Yeah. I'm loving this season. Okay. He loves it. Oh, That's I thought he was living it. I thought, I thought he, he was, yeah. was in there. <laughs> I was like, I, I'm living with them. I'm living the story. Yeah. VR, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. That'd be cool, actually. Um, so Sam just says, damn it, with these paradoxes. Yep, it happens. One time it happened in The Flash, and we talked about it for like 50 minutes. Tori says, Fitz said himself that it's a loop, a record that keeps on skipping, plus May at the end knew where Robin would give her the information. Why else would she tell Robin to wait to give her the information? You'd think she would want that information as soon as possible. Hmm. That's what I said, but she just said, I can't remember now, it's been a week. But I, I talked about that in the episode last time, too. Because mm -hmm. the way that it was like, well, wouldn't she want to know that? But she didn't want to know that. But then she wouldn't, she, wouldn't she also be getting it. emotional because of thinking about when it was with what she lived? I don't know. Not, it's, if, it's not if it's like, it's, it's happened weird. a bunch of times. She's like, oh, fucking, where it goes again? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Alex says this episode was so damn confusing. I think they've lived this future and gone back in time. Mm. That was my first impression. It was hard to explain. Brandy says I thought the flashbacks were from a timeline when they didn't travel through time. Mm -hmm. But now Eric has me questioning everything. I don't know what's going on. Definitely looking forward to getting some answers. Question a lot. What should they question? What else should they question? I should break illusions. Oh. I'm actually not fat. I've been wearing a fat suit this whole time. He's not deaf either. So I'm Tone kidding. says, I think the order is the events that occur that cause the destruction of the Earth happen. The stuff we saw in the flashbacks occur after that destruction. They devise the plan to pull everyone to the future to prevent the destruction, and eventually Deke's dad fulfills it. This creates a new timeline where the diner scene and what we've seen this season occur, only because everyone went to the future, creating the issues with the Kree and the early calling, causing Flint to be created. And because of that, Robin sees Flint as the way to allow everyone to go back to the past. As Daisy rips the Earth apart, Flint holds it together. This will create a third and final timeline where the destruction is averted. Also, I think Robin, he can bring all the pieces together, refers to Flint, either bringing together the pieces of the monolith to help get them back, or bringing all the pieces of Earth back together, holding them together during the destruction. <sighs> Big fat titties. What? I brought my back, it's my constant. But was the flashback from then? Crap! I'm flinched! <laughs> For the record, I like Rebel Peacemaker Matt too. He's sexy. Yeah, he is. Mm, is that right? Whoa! Yeah. He's sexy. Two more creepers. Creepers. This is our floor now. No blues allowed. You run! If I was any of them, I'd run! An uprising. Have the doctor awaken our latest acquisition. It's doctor. time to remind the humans I am not their enemy. What? I latest. am their god. What? No, you're not. I got a god. His name's Bebo. Simmons said it has a unique crystalline structure that he can. It's a rock. Flint controls rocks. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, do it faster. His voice How are we looking? Like Terrible. Zephyr One's been a crash site for going on 80 years, so. It's a mess. It's gonna be a while till comms are up and running. I think so. Because I'm pretty sure generations of space rats have lived and died in here. Doesn't happen every day. It's hard to believe. The 
that we can do it? That I was on mom. I just, I can't see it. I can. 7.30 curfew kind of mom. <laughs> You're kind of proving my point with the face. And for Rama's sake, we need to make sure this world never comes to be. No matter what. Uh, uh oh. What are we going to do with Boss? Dead Daisy. I left that up to Deke. Mm -hmm. Dead Daisy. She said, no matter what. Dead Daisy. It's Deacon time. You're upset. <laughs> I don't blame you. We could finish it. But you want to kill me? Come on, Deke, don't do it. Don't do either one. Don't do either. Don't do either. Don't do either. Don't do either. Go upstairs and put your gun away and talk. Deke, no, Deke. You're no killer. Red room! What? Santo Infierno. El Diablo. Tess? I thought Tess Something's died. Something's not right. Look at her. Look at her. I thought you were dead. Can eat his face. Is this the acquisitions? I was. Science can bring him back from the dead. Go get Robin. There's only one God, and he for damn sure ain't it. So send me he in. Doesn't dress Just like calm that. down, yo yo. I'll kill that blue bastard before he even knows what hit him. And if he comes back to life, then what? I'll kill him again. Hand needed a little juice. Okay. Well, the comms are up and running. If we can get a line of sight to the lighthouse, we should be able to contact Mac. <laughs> Oh! Sooner the better. Gravity storm. Artificial gravity. Gravitonium. 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 Grav... I don't know. Gravium. That's it. That's it! This is the same design from the lighthouse, so unless someone else just happened to come up with the exact same idea, we did this. In the past. After we've lived this moment. Causal loop paradox. We don't even know how to design it because we'd already seen it. Is this your first time having a building dropped on you? No. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Because it's time to fly, me. I can't believe okay, they're going to take off. Okay, once we have ignition, be ready to lift the ground anchor. The Zephyr has a spaceship now. Here we go. No, they're still on the planet surface. Mm. It's pretty much space. He wants me. Hand me over. We always do this. It's always the same art. Zip, zip. I chop his head off. Done. Yeah, count me in. You get yourself zip, zip. killed. That's why you fail. Because you're not willing to do what has to be done. Clearly, you haven't read my file. <laughs> We're not in the habit of... We fight! We fight! We fight! We fight! Mm. Big man. Yo-Yo and I are turning ourselves over to him. He doesn't know about Yo-Yo's power yet. Because science will kill you. Maybe. There are ways to fight. Remember what we said. I mean, I want to let them fight too, but I would keep them with now. everybody else now. They're going through such a suicide mission. Yeah, that will succeed. The upgrades. Zephyr 1 has reaction control system thrusters, meaning capable of maneuvering in space. We can get high enough oh. to bring through our diminished gravity. We can get in the atmosphere. We can fly in space straight to the light. Space ship! Yeah. Man, At least you got rid of can everybody you else, though, right? Gravity storm! Another mom face. These fuckers are going to the game. <laughs> we can do this. Another mom face. We can do this. Oh, no, Sonara. Hey, you're going the wrong way. Oh, we gotta get on the ground. She's so bad. <laughs> I love it so much. Shit. They're holding your research floor until you come and meet them. They'll burn your ability to breed another inhuman. That's what he wants. With the push of a button. That's how they wanted me to say it. <laughs> Make sure you say it like this. Be honest. Oh! oh no. Close ah. God damn it. Whoa, yikes. Yeah, that is definitely gonna get infected. He's there. Oh shit. Didn't expect it. Yo Yo Rodriguez? How peculiar. This is the space mine. Nobody moves! Oh, Sonora! Oh, shit. Two beautiful ladies. 
give our shit off too to see, to see how hot she is. Kasaias misses you. One of their <laughs> I know, the twister. Crazy. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Oh, man. I think power is so helpful right now. Yeah. Where's her balls? You do the things. Oh. Catwalk fight. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the move. We're on the ledge. Oh. Ah. This is fucking crazy. She's going toe to toe with the creep. Yeah, I know that. That's like a flip. She was. Dang it. She was going toe to toe. Get the box. Just stand up. Why is he standing up? Car. This is oh, the, the grabby thingy. The grabby thingy. Fucking her up! Okay. No devil. You're just a cruel, sad little blue man. <laughs> so why don't we skip to the part where I end this? Skip to the part, come on, yo, yo, I love you, man. Come on, Daisy. No. Ah, uh, she had a knife in it the whole time. I'm not supposed to kill you. <laughs> but a rock. Deke. He grabbed her, get over her! Yeah. Hey, I don't want to see that. You knew I was gonna regret this. <laughs> Come on, uh, Elena. Damn it, fuck, Flint. Flint. This is done. Do I get to fight now? What's done? Now that we're all He's here, in time. surrender or make your play. Either way, you will be mine. I choose to play. Damn! Oh, shit! Damn it. Put Tess behind I promised suffering. Okay, you, right? okay, that is quite the jaw you got there. Consider me impressed. Oh, we... oh shit! Uh -oh. oh, pull, pull, pull! Oh! I'm slightly pissed! Because she's so poor! What an awesome way to die for a character, though. Fucking Sonara. Here, was Stalin. Took some time to move all of your explosives down to level 25. And you moved the people up. Ah. They all work together, every human floor. <laughs> and now they're out of your reach. Cut off, you creeper. They're free. But not you! For all of you, it's now over! No, 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 no. Ass kicking's just begun. Oh, shit! Ooh. Oh, shit! Ninja, vanish! No! Mac, yo yo, do you copy? You do again. Mac, yo yo, do you copy? They have a seer telling them what's to come? Well, I have one of my own. Who? Does he have a human too? That is a Kree scientist. Who's, who's in there? Open the what's door. That? Open the door. Korean, I don't know. Okay. Well, we lost oh, Sonara. You're doing that. Huh? We lost Sonara. We did. She's such a great villain. Yes. I mean, I think she's far more interesting than Kasai's, even though I actually really enjoyed Kasai's this episode as well. Yeah, I like I like better. the actors really having fun, you know. It's with getting it. better now. Yeah. I was like, before I didn't care about him too much. Sure. But I was debating on using my joke again or not. Which one? That maybe they'll make a, a maybe we'll go back and somehow learn more about Sonara, like if we have a Chronicles. I'm not trying to make a Sonara Chronicles joke from Sonara, Shin Sonara Chronicles. That one show that we did that didn't want us to do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we were watching it, you're like, no, Sonara. I'm like, now we just have our Chronicles. I didn't even hear you that. You didn't hear that? <laughs> no. Uh, you said something else too, I forget okay. what it was. But... No, I like Cassius better on this. I like his, ah, <laughs> no! Oh, that's such great shit right there, man. Dude, once again, S.H.I.E.L.D with very limited and the same sets we've seen this entire season. Yeah. Making good shit going.
going on? And you're like, man, what if we're just gonna run around the same place. Yes, yes, yeah. Eric, let's just yeah. run around the same place. Great, do it in Great. warehouses. We can, I'll do it for another season. We're not gonna do it for more seasons. I will do it for another this season. This pod's almost over, but I'm we loving got to. it. We gotta do it I'm another season. I'm I'll do it. it. I'll do it. it. We can get good nowhere no, 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 outside. No, no, no. Last last season we had those car chases. I don't need yeah. no car chases. It's cool too. <laughs> what? I know you're, you're talking about Hitch. Huh? Oh, you yeah. we don't need a pizza. They got pizza there. You did it. That's what you're thinking. That's the way I did it. Yeah. What? Do they mean when they say during the time of the destruction there was a light in the sky oh, and there were aliens? Thanos? They mean Thanos? It's the only thing I can think of. It's gotta be Thanos. I mean, it can't be. It's in the future. It's gotta be. I don't know what else it could be. I mean, we've seen in the Infinity War trailer, like those rings appear. Yeah. You know, those were in the sky. They're not exactly lights, but maybe they are lights when they show up. I mean, maybe once he actually gets his gauntlet all put together, he goes a giant, light, and in the giant light in the sky, yeah. and then the world goes fantastic. Oh shit! Better leave. Does put a smile on my face. What? That's what Thanos sounds like, right? I don't Something know. Like that. I haven't heard him yet. Yeah. Has he talked? Yeah. With Guardians of the Galaxy. In the Dandy War trailer. Oh yeah, but that was a different. Wasn't that a different person? It was a different person. Yeah. At least one of those. No, the, the very first time we see him in the after credits of Avengers, a different guy. But ever since then, it's been a. Uh, Brolin. Brolin. Josh. Brolin. Cable. Brolin. Brolin. <laughs> Brolin. <laughs> Brolin, yeah. Cable? Yeah. He's gonna play Cable in Deadpool. I'm gonna. What's he gonna do now? Now that Marvel has it. You know, Deadpool will probably be like, man, that guy looks like Cable. <laughs> <laughs> Just let him play both? Yeah, because he can break the fourth wall. Okay, let's talk about this show. Uh, Lights in the Sky, Thanos. We still don't know what's going on. Even Daisy seems to think that she's the one that's gonna do it. She like, doesn't even want her powers back. Yeah, it's just like, well, they have this, they have this fucking video of me being like, nah, 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 nah. I must have done it. I don't know. There's also been a lot more Gravitonium going on. Well, this episode. We've only yeah. seen it twice. And they even said here, maybe that's what causes the destruction. That's pretty That's pretty big. It's not. It's little. Pretty big. What all do they say during that stuff? Maybe Gravitron still rules the Earth, and that's what the gravity storms are. He still rules yeah, the Earth? Yeah, he's still there. He is the gravity storm. Maybe why it fell apart, or was torn apart or something like that. Cracked upon? Because they said that explains why it's still there. And you know, why the atmosphere is there specifically, right? Which because this thing, you know, the atmosphere forms around the globe of the Earth, but this thing is in, like, pieces, but the atmosphere is still clinging to it. It shouldn't be there if it's not in a perfect sphere, right? Well, why, is it, why is that stuff there and it's not just pulling the other fucking rocks to it? It's magic. Hey, magic. Except like Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange is awesome. Yeah. I've Maybe. been falling for 30 minutes! <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be awesome if like they're like, how are we gonna get back? And all of a sudden, just like, shh, and like, I guess Ghost Rider. Has yeah, fuck that. Right? Ghost Rider has a chain sling ring. Yeah, that's, I, I want to see that. Ghost Rider versus Doctor Strange. I just thought that. Holy shit! Good. Not the Ghost Rider versus Doctor Strange just my thing. One nipple got hard. Just one. Just one. This one. Is it the Doctor Strange nipple yeah. or the Ghost Rider nipple? It is a strange nipple. Thank you. It is kind of split in the middle, so it kind of looks like it could be three. Huh? One of my nipples it has like a crease in the middle. So like if you like kind of like squint, it kind of looks like I have like three nipples. If you squint, yeah, it's like when you get like that Cheeto. If you squint, it looks like Jesus. No, man, like if this, if no. this is a normal nipple, you what? know, just like that, you know, my nipple kind of looks. That's an ass. Like that. What? It's kind of got a little bit of a crease, so if you, you can kind of like split it in half, make. That's just like a bigger nipple. That's just like a wider nipple, Eric. People come here for the amazing uh, analysis and discussion of Blind Wave upon Agents of Shield. Now they know Eric doesn't have three nipples, but he kind of looks like it. You like that? You like that chick from Total Recall? She's got three titties. <laughs> I only got two titties. Lightest guy, Thanos, that kind of stuff going on. I, I feel like I can't stop talking about how just fun Sonara is on screen. Like she doesn't have to do much. It's just the song and it's her look and she's just so damn badass and threatening and sexy and god damn I'm glad. I'm glad she's dead. I'm not glad she's dead. Tess has come back. Speaking of dead. Which I, I guess I, I guess that works. It makes sense right? G, I think it was GH23. Yeah. Is the chemical they use which was made from a, I had a fucking Cree body there didn't they? I wonder where I wonder where well I guess he just sends them to fucking weird fiery place or some shit. Well, not Tahiti, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, Colton's like, Tahiti's a magical place. Yeah. And you get Tess, she's just like, it's scary in this sure. fire. <laughs> or something, I don't know. Well, yeah, it's, Colson had to have, like, uh, programming done. I guess she did. She's kind of, well, I mean. She just saw what she saw, I guess. She went along with the plan, because at the end, she's like, ran over there, and she's like, yeah, we did it, everyone, <laughs> you know? So. For that second that the shield yeah. was down. But, man, if they can bring back somebody with that, 
does that open the door to some losing somebody and getting them back then, or then, or will we lose somebody and getting them back in the past? Lord. Yeah. <laughs> or, <laughs> or fuck yeah. More back. Or fucking you know Sonar. Well, no, I don't want. I want. I want uh, framework ward. Yeah. I don't want. I don't know how that would work. I don't want the other ward. I think he could have come. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Like we get back. And all of a sudden, Ward's there, and like, what? <laughs> yeah, it came from the framework. Yeah. Where you, you guys been? I was, you guys said about a diner, and I fucking went there, you weren't there. <laughs> and the fucking fish is running out. And he, me and him don't get, to, get together. <laughs> Not right now. Confirmed, or at least the characters believe, that they're definitely in a time loop. Fitz thinks that he's in a time loop. And that it's impossible to get well, out. What he says, what he says for the time loop is that be, because of this gravitonium, yeah. I think is what it's called, it could have only been created by Fitz. But yeah, for Fitz to have created Fitz. it, he wasn't prepared back then, mm -hmm. so he would have had to seen this, use this information to go back in time yeah. to make this. Thus, it's in a weird loop of, like, this can't exist unless yeah. I'm here, but I can't have it created this if I wasn't there. He knows so that he will create it in his future, but because he's in the future, he's going to have to go back to the past. That's what he's thinking. Kind of, yeah. So he's in a... Yeah, he, he thinks he's in some kind of a loop where they don't fix it. Because if they would fix it, it would have already been done. Well, they're in a paradox. Yeah. I don't know how it's a loop, but I do believe it's like a... It could be like a loop paradox, I guess. I just don't, I just don't know. I, 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 I keep on trying to think of like the timeline. Of okay, so you go back here and then they just live through this. And this is all just... Then what? Where's the loop? Where's it loop back? Hmm? Where's it loop back? Where's the loop? There's just an end. I, I, I think you that... You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, the connector could be Robin, right? In terms of seeing all the past and futures happening at the same time. I mean, if her timeline, because she said that what she sees is just kind of whatever. You know what I mean? Like, wh whatever she's drawing could be any time. It might not be the future. It could be really future. It could be present. It could be mm -hmm. many things. But there has to be something squirrely in terms of a loop because there did exist a timeline where they didn't, uh, they didn't have the diner scene, right? Yeah, I mean, there had to have been. Yeah. But I just, I don't know. I'm curious on how the loop actually goes through. But I do understand that he's saying that, like, if, if, if I made this, but I didn't know how to make it, but I go in the future, and then I find this, and I'm like, well, no one could have made this but me. Yeah. But now I know how to make it because I'm looking at it, so I can go back in the past and make it. But then how did I make it if I didn't know how to make it, so I didn't, couldn't find it to yes. make it? I don't know how you can make it more simple. It's a, it's a pop figure. I'm sure I can make it. It's like I'm... <laughs> Counting to a million, and I'm currently on a thousand, and then suddenly I see a recording of me counting to a hundred thousand. I'm like, wait, I'm not there yet. Oh shit, the work's already been done. That's, that's as simple as I can make it. it does I guess. Seem simple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So, um, and by the way, we just—I don't know if it's a production thing or you know—it seemed a little straight and squirrely in the story, but it's just like we got a lot of fucking extra people in this plane. Go to the caves. Oh, the plane's not working. Oh, the plane's working. Once yeah. they get off, you know, fucking Voss and shit. They're just in a cave now. They show the last few guys getting off. Yeah. Okay. So Fine, fucking, you stay here. I wonder if they'll, like, come back into the story or it's just kind of a thing, like, we got to get people off this plane. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you just had two people, like, just two people been living here by themselves? Yeah. Oh, okay, there's been, like, a little group sure. here. Well, there's too many people. We got to so, get rid of these people. I think it's funny that there's just people in a cave now. Get off our ship. So, it, and another clue of to some kind of thing going on is that Cassius recognized Yo-Yo and seemed to imply some kind of deal. Did he say that? Deal? I'm not necessarily exactly with Yo-Yo, but they seem to imply some kind of deal where humans betrayed each other and that's how he got control. Um, I mean, I'm sure we're yet to learn. Okay. He exactly says about like, like the first time about in humans... Depending on how it is, it could have been related back to, like, people just not liking the humans. Sure. But... Like, destroying the humans or something. In, in those flashbacks, we saw a yo-yo, a determined yo-yo with a Kree axe that had lost her mech. Yeah. So, what did she do that makes it so that Cassius recognizes her? Like, yo-yo Rodriguez? You know? There's no other way he would recognize her, right? In this season? I mean, he has a seer or something, so... Well, he does have a seer, too. That's true. So, maybe that, but... Possibly. I just wondered if that, that meant that there's some kind of connection there. Maybe that's something we see mm -hmm. later, I don't or know. as we learn more. I don't know. But if you look at, like, how she was there versus how she is in this episode, like, you see, like, with her anchor being Mac mm -hmm. and, like, listening to him, 
Like she was without Max, she stuff, would be a lot more bloodthirsty. Blood yeah. <laughs> yeah. Scary. It's exactly the word, bloodthirsty. Um, yeah, I, I wrote it down zip zip chop chop. Because without those fucking spear thingies, you know, I guess zip, that makes zip, sense chop, why he knows that she can do that and why. If he has a seer, it makes sense. True. Um, or he's seen her. He's met her before. Um, why was Colson hit by a panel? I don't know. I was wondering that too. Because it seemed to just kind of happen, unless it's going to come back later. Or, like, he was like, they were filming, he had an accident, so they just tossed it in so that they could keep filming. He's like, just do this, have him get hit in the face. I don't know. Because it seems so random, didn't well, it? Well, maybe I guess it's, it's just showing the, the gravity switching back and forth because it's in a storm and it's like, blah, blah, or something. But it seemed really random, and maybe we were just talking over something. No, I mean, I think it, it was random to me. It just... Like, I wonder if, like, something happened and he had a cut or something like that. And instead of trying to, like... Cover it up. Cover it up, they just try to explain it away. Maybe that's a story beat that'll come back later? I'm just saying, it's, it's gotta be... I feel like it's gotta be one or two things. Either it's coming back, like, in the next episode or so. Sure. Or it was a cover-up, like, May's leg. Sure. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, something happened on set, and they're like, you know what, we're not gonna hide that. Yeah. It's like, okay, well, let's just bring attention to it. So they have him just walk, bam, damn, that's gonna get infected! Shit, man, he has a big cut on his head. <laughs> you know it's what I mean? certainly weird that it happened. Yeah, like it, it isn't. It's not in there by accident. It's not like they're just like. And then you know, Colson gets his head hit, and everybody's like, "Oh." So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's an important scene. Don't cut that out. Like okay. it, things could just fall. In. Like we already know things are getting bad. Why did he get hit in the face and cut his yeah. face? So unless it doesn't come back, I'm gonna say there was an accident on set or something. Okay. <laughs> and they were trying to cover the shit up by just because the way they shoot it, it's behind his head. And then directly from his left, not in front of him or on his right, where maybe he already had the mark. Yeah. You know what I mean? Those are my two thoughts. Yeah. Enoch is plastic alloy and has no gender. He, yeah. he sounds like a robot. Doesn't he? His voice sounds so familiar, too. I don't know why. In this episode. Stephen Hawking. No. I don't think that's <laughs> it's it. It's a little bit like it. No. I don't think so. I am Cree, brother, as I have always been. No. <laughs> I don't think that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> okay. Take on Cassius. Take yeah. on me, take no. me on. So, I don't know what that was. I'll be gone. Be gone. <gasps> but no, I don't know if that was just like them just going to take on Cassius. Yeah, they're going to take on Cassius. What are going to do? This boomy thing, and yeah. blah, blah, everything. Yeah. That's that, about, yeah. that, that did well. Yeah. And then the other thing I heard is know where S.H.I.E.L.D. is. S.H.I.E.L.D. is nowhere? No. Where shield is? Know where shield is? It's uh, just right there. <laughs> I don't know. We think about Flint and his uh, his bloodthirstiness a bit. I don't know. He was calmed down there at the end, and then they all ran away, and no one tried to stay and fight or nothing yeah. like that. Probably because Cassius had that shield thing. Like whenever they did their fight training, mm -hmm. you know what I'm talking about? They had a little button. Mm -hmm. that, that, yeah. They did that too. Hmm. I mean, he's young. He has now. He has new powers. No, I'm taking him now. Yeah. No, Monica. No. It seems. It seems like something young people would do. But then you got Mac, who's scary too, and you yeah. want to. You want to listen to him, I guess, right? Yeah. I'd listen to Mac. Be quiet. <laughs> hey. Uh, I've always wanted to be that guy, and everybody starts screaming, and I'm like, whoa. Because you can't. Sound a little bit like Gandalf there, though. What? Yeah. That's the what? Yeah. That's what you would do. Bah. Is that what you yeah, would get them to wake up? Yeah, doesn't Gandalf in the Fellowship of the Ring everybody's like arguing and shit? And no! He, he just starts like uh, speaking fucking the language of Mordor and everything gets dark. It's extended edition. The candidates for the World Destroyer is Gravitron, Gravitonium. Quake, Thanos, uh, and Flint? Kinda? I don't think Flint. I don't think no. so, but will you go back no. with him? Nope. No, no, no leaves him? Nope. Doesn't it seem like Robin said Flint knows the answer? Flint would understand. Flint would understand. And she told Coulson that he would put the pieces together. Yeah. But yeah. I don't think she said to Coulson that Flint would put the pieces together. She put, she put like, Philip J. Coulson, you'll put the pieces together. Well, Coulson was talking about the rock in the beginning of this episode. He's like, it's a rock. We need Flint. So they need Flint to find the rock? They found the rock. More pieces of rock. No, they need two pieces of rock. Two pieces of rock? Yeah. For some it? kind of vibration. Some kind of dark something. ritual. Because remember, they were, they were going to... They're gonna split it. Yeah. And he's like, we need it in two places at once. Yeah. He's like, it's kind of a family I mean, heirloom. Hmm. Okay. Is the latest acquisition that Cassie has talked about in the first part of this episode, was it the seer or was it Tess? Probably Tess. Okay. I think. Seer. Okay, well, 
Other than, well, no, I actually, don't know. it could be the seer because he hasn't mentioned anything about like kind of knowing stuff either. Maybe he bought it. But both just kind of showed up this episode, so I'm yeah. not sure. Um, and then the last thing was that uh, Deke kind of had this a little emotional episode with Voss, right? But, yeah. And he's and Voss says that Deke's dad tried to kill him. Yeah. And he killed himself. That's what I would say too. Yeah. If I killed a guy, he tried to kill me. Yeah. That knife just ended up in him. But he doesn't seem like he's mine, Voss. He seems like he's the kind of guy that thinks like, I gotta do is gotta be done, you know. Mm. But I, don't, I didn't really sense any like. If I killed a poor little old lady. Well, yeah. I, I would trust him. Would you kill a little old lady to save the world? No. You'd kill baby Hitler though. <laughs> <laughs> and there had to be Hitler. It's gotta be a baby. Why is a little old lady gonna be dangerous? What's she gonna do? I don't. She can see the past and future, and she's that's not the dangerous. Reason. She's helping. She. You would, so you would kill her. You would kill her. No. To save the world. Yeah, probably. But you wouldn't kill baby Hitler. We're so I'd have to different. know that I'm saving the world. He doesn't know shit. He's like, we got fucking the history. It's like, what? Look at the video. She looks angry. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy. He doesn't know shit. He's the burden of proof is upon him. See? So I would not kill him all late. Okay. But I would kill baby Hitler. Speed King says, why is Yo-Yo so bloodthirsty this episode? Also, did you guys think Deke was going to kill Daisy? Because she's just tired of everybody's shit. And fucking, I can end this in a millisecond. Watch me. And then she couldn't. That's pretty much why. I mean, yeah. you know, with a bunch of power, not only becomes great responsibility, but great confidence. Yeah. And uh, she's like, you know what? Fuck these Kree. We're not going to save them. Not they're going on the ship with us to get, out, get the hell out of here. We're well, taking the Kree back to the past. Once they go Maybe back to the, an arc, if they go back to the past and they fix stuff, these people aren't going to be around anyway, right? Yeah. Kind of. They kind of, yeah, right? Except they're in a loop and it will happen again. <sighs> Also, Speed, Speed King says, Did you ever think that when S.H.I.E.L.D. first started, you would see a Zephyr in space? No. How did the Hulk get to space? Huh? I say yes. I did. You because did? we had it like two seasons ago. Did we? Right? Did we? Isn't that when Lincoln and Hydra head oh, yeah, Squidward? Right. They went to space. Hive. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, they did go to space. But this They weren't like flying through space. space. But, yeah. yeah. But yeah, they took a Zephyr... It was agents. It was uh, it was Avengers. Zephyr was it a Zephyr? It wasn't like a, the Zephyr one. That one. It was a little smaller. It was yeah. just more of like a shield, like what do they call it, a little plane. But the Hulk just was fucking. You know, I think he's over space. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's what happened. And he went. He had to go. He had to go to base somewhere. Yep. Steve says no, Sonara. Oh yeah. Also, maybe Flint can also help by going back in time and holding the Earth together while Daisy does her thing. But it is starting to sound a bit like maybe Thanos. I think it's Thanos. I, I, or no, I should say, I wish it to be Thanos. I think it has more to do with Gravitron. I th also think it would be easier for Quick to destroy the Earth than it would be for Flint to keep it together. Like if I had like a big glass ball, it'd be a lot easier for me to just drop it and explode than like trying to. Hold it from exploding with a firecracker. Yeah, but what if you could control the glass to stay together and just... Yeah, but what if I'm like an ant? What? Like an ant's ant on that thing, because it's the Earth. It's so big. How does he control the whole thing? Keep it all together. Focus. How does she blow the whole thing up by herself? I can see... Focus. You, you can light it like a fucking keg and it goes off. Keg? Versus, yeah, like, like, a, like a keg of dynamite. Okay. Like, it's easy to, like, have a spark cause a chain reaction. It's a lot harder to, like, fucking... Go over and be like, no! I guess. You know what I'm saying? But I, I don't know. Maybe. He has to be, he knows something. He will understand. Red French Moon said, ass kicking just began. Oh, Mac, you great specimen of a man. Just an, begun. An episode well written. I really thought they were going to mm. surrender. But no. We mm. lost Sonara. She was badass. Zero gravity fight. Great idea. Shield yep. is really great show. Great show. One of the best shows. I'm the greatest show. Ask anybody. No one's a better show than me. <laughs> Josh says the Zephyr One is flying through space in the future. Yep. What thing that has happened on Angels of Shield so far would be the most unbelievable if you could tell it to your past self watching season one, episode one? I know. I, I know what mine is. Probably Ghost Rider. Uh, and mine would be that Phil Coulson's going to be Ghost Rider. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what it is, yeah. Yeah, probably that. Wouldn't that be crazy? Like, yeah. fuck, no, you're crazy. Like, fucking Phil Coulson will be Ghost Rider. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a crazy thing. Robert says, Sayonara, Sonara. Oh, you son of a bitch. That's good, though. That shaky cam, no, was pretty stupid. Uh, uh, it, it 
was, but I loved it. I had fun. No. No. Man, we that guy. Was we were laughing fun. at it. I love it. Why do Kree have varying strength in terms of taking a punch, depending on how threatening they need to be? In episode one, Matt could barely move one, mm -hmm. but Daisy's been tossing him around like, I didn't say pepper. Paper. Yeah. Maybe it's a matter of Sonara relying on her balls too much and not training in the gym, and she's just not as good as a regular fighter as she is as a ball <coughs> thrower. Ball throwers. Crusader said, did I miss something? How did Cassius know who Yo-Yo was and what her powers were? Because. Salute. Because of a seer? Or that? That seems reasonable. Magnus says, could the seer be Reyna? Don't know why or how. But that would be cool. And no, not Sonara. Reviver now. Unless he dug up Reyna from a kind of floating see. rock <laughs> to her body and then brought her back. It couldn't be Reyna. I don't know. I think I kind of went Aziz and sorry there. <laughs> like, no, not no, Sonara. Not Sonara. Reviver no. now. Ow, my tushy. <laughs> What's he always say? He's like, my thingsies. <laughs> He's always like that. All in uh, Park and Rag? Yeah. I remember. b -Nox says, except for one. Colson Zero. <laughs> yeah, that was just so random. <laughs> I don't know what, what that was there for. Um, the infection, man. Sunny says, so the seer has to be someone who's lived these events already, right? I think it's Yo-Yo. In the flashback, she went alone to kill the Kree. Maybe Cassius captured her and has kept her alive in stasis. So their seer could be somebody that... So okay, theoretically, somebody that is now on the plane right now could have been... Preserved and alive, and as it's happening, knows where they're going well, to go. It would have to be anybody. See, the thing that's so weird about that is that if they go back in time, are they not going back to like when they left? Because that means one of them has lived like 70 years. Well, I was going to say, like, that maybe they died and were preserved. So because we know at least May, Yo Yo, and Robin made it to the. And Fitz. And, yeah, was Fitz there too? Remember, yeah, he was talking about Jim's death and stuff. Well, yeah, but I think bef after that was the scene where we saw Yo-Yo with Robin, and then our uh, Yo-Yo, May with yo -Yo, Robin, and then Yo-Yo. Yeah. But I don't think Fitz was in that scene. No, they were he in wasn't the in that. And that was also when they were like talking about Flint. Yeah. Like, there's no way we can do anything with someone who hasn't been born for another 50 years. So, so that means that it's only been 20 years since they left the diner. Yeah. No one looked. Excuse me. No one looked like they were 20 years old. No. But what I was Even saying Robin is like, look. let's say Yo-Yo dies like the next day or something, right? And then Cassius who might have made some kind of fucking plan with her or something. We know that he recognizes her. Let's say he fucking keeps her body frozen, and then he revives her, and now she has all the memories of the things they're currently doing, and that's how they're seeing something. Oh, she, like, torture her to get it out of her, maybe, or maybe. something? That could, let me say, that could be a thing. That's not a seer. That's just cheating. It's, it's, she can only see a certain thing. Or it's that guy who is at the bottom of the ocean that has disappeared <laughs> since, like, season four. The Five, nice guy? three. You tell me he's dead. No, not him. The senator brother. Remember him? Oh. Remember that guy? Yeah, with the wet wards. Wards brother? No. It was... Oh, VJ. Yeah. Remember him? Why would he be it? I don't know, but he fell in the water, and then we thought it was gonna be something, and it wasn't even something in the humans. I forgot and all it has about VJ. Nothing. When's that coming back? What was that about? Why they do that? Fucking the thing blows up, and he's just a little rock. Yeah. I don't know. VJ. I forgot about VJ. Uh, Tyler says, so I take it that Cassius has a much less magical Tahiti. Do you think mm -hmm. that the Kree have perfected the process and were, were just using it as torture against Tess? Also, might Cassius use it on Sonara and get revenge with her balls against their rod? Huh. Yes. Toast night. We didn't see the plan, and it worked. Yep. Eric. That's how it <laughs> That's works. Like also, we were right about Flint and the monolith reconstruction. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, that's how it's looking. Yep. They haven't done it yet. Mm. So I'm waiting. But or they need, they they, supposedly, Flint, it's a rock. He, he controls rocks. <laughs> that was, like, that was basically rocks. what Colson said. Yeah. You know who else who controls rocks in a, in a superhero show? That was me. Fucking teabag. And he, that's Remember heroes. heroes? Yeah, that's yeah. different. That's different. I was there like, they called it terrakinesis, and here they call it geokinesis. I like terrakinesis. Better. I was sitting here thinking of like Marvel, like who controls rocks? Fucking, fucking teabag. What was his name there? Something? Jeffrey? Uh, uh, ringleader? Joseph? I don't remember. Yeah, it's been a while. Billy says, "Love MCU, but we've spent the most time with these characters. If they don't get any impactful scene in Infinity War or any MCU film, for that matter, I will be super upset." 
Here's hoping they make the effort and we get a su big surprise in the theater. Uh, I can hope. I'm not going to be upset because I don't expect it. So I'll go in not expecting it if it happens. Fucking awesome. If it doesn't, I'm not expecting it. But I mean, I, you know what? These characters in this show don't require validation from the movies. They're just that good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I do, I do enjoy them. I mean, there's like, you know, it's like taking a show... Pick a show that you like and be like, man, if this wasn't a movie, if this isn't a movie, then I hate this. Sh that's what they've done with this show. Sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like Fringe. Yeah. I don't know if it has a movie. Does it have a movie? Nope. See. But are you mad? Now I am. Okay. Maybe there's good point, Billy. Random X says Voss says there was a light from the sky. Yep. Aliens is what I heard. Shield tried to stop it and failed. Brought hell to Earth. Could this possibly be an Infinity War tie-in? 100th episode is in three weeks. Thanos. If no hiatus. But I've heard it might be in March. Mm -hmm. Thanos. It's gotta be Thanos, right? Thanos. That's not until May, though. Right? Or now they're gonna do it. Well, never made that noise ever. <laughs> <laughs> Global Marvel. What you even do? I don't know. I can't do it. Hannibal Lecter looking at me. Global Marvel. At the start of the episode, Kasai mentions a new acquisition. Mm -hmm. And with Tess revived, mm -hmm. would it be plausible that they have Reina's body and revived her, or even Robin's father? Maybe. Doubtful. Um, they say know. neither. Then they put a little poly thingy. Neither. Reina. Robin's father. Either, but not sure. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it could be either pick one. Pick one, though. Do a poll. 44% said neither. 22% said Reina. 22% said either, but not sure. And 11% said Robin's How father. How many votes? Nine. That's why I like percentages better. <laughs> um, Cole says, do you think Flint is Max's son? No. Me neither. HFK, could Cassius Seer be Ward? Would be nice to way to bring back Brett Dalton with the crystal ball, cards, and hood, and everything. Why would it be Ward? I don't, I don't know. I love it. He knew exactly where they were going to land, though. Hmm. Yeah, because one of my theories is that it could be somebody... That's still alive after they've gone back through time and is receiving, it's like Savitar, it's like receiving updates on exactly what's happening right now because they've lived it already. Yeah. It's a cool idea. Rokito, it's been done. Rokito, Cassius didn't know how anyone looked except for the yo yo. Could she be the seer? Also, if <gasps> Yeezy, Ye Yeezy, if Daisy, Yeezy, if Yeezy. <laughs> If Daisy is to blame for the destruction of Earth, then that inhibitor is to blame, making her powers like a pressurized soda can. Oh, that's interesting. It's just like building up in there. Because <laughs> she has to let him out every once in a while, right? Yeah, that's why she jumped up she in like the air one off. time. Quick it off. Wouldn't come out. Oh, 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 oh. Everyone, give a, give a big boom. Wow. In honor of Sonara, says Jack. Aaron, which we haven't mentioned this in a while, Aaron. What if Black Bolt is the actual destroyer of worlds? I know he isn't, but what if? No. Agent 79 says, do you think Cassius resurrected the telepath warrior from earlier in the season? And if so, do you think there are long-term drawbacks of being restored back to life in this way? Tess was not looking too good. I think you had to have some kind of programming after it happens, like Tahiti, to keep yourself from being like, ah, ah! But, um, the what warrior in the beginning? The guy who could read minds, and he was such a good fighter because he could read your mind. Oh. He doesn't have, he can't see things like that, right? I don't know. Maybe. I like that guy, but he's dead. If they just added a power and brought him back to life and he could just see people's futures, I'd be like, okay. Yeah. I don't think I'd be like, that's dumb. I do like the... That's impossible. I do like the threat of, like, I'll just bring you back over and over and over again, kill you more and more and more and more. Interesting. Um, Brayden, no, Sonara, rip, you and your balls will be missed. <laughs> yeah, also, miss balls. I'm still questioning the details on what Chronicom, what a Chronicom actually is. Not complaining, Enoch is turning into one of my favorites this season. Yeah. He is kind of C-3PO this episode, though. Yeah. Like, shut up, Golden Rod! You know? <laughs> Stop up, shut up, plastic man. Yeah. Never tell me the odds. Um... What's yeah, he's not. A, he said he's. I am not a robot. What is it? What is your mission? It's like to observe the humanity. To observe and report. It's like well then start observing. Less less than four. Less reporting. Less, report. less reporting. Whatever it was. Um. <laughs> Did you just 
hmm, Sonora's theme. Yeah, I was like, um, hmm. Mike says that the president of ABC has stated she's extremely optimistic regarding S.H.I.E.L.D. season six. Good. If we get a renewal, which we better, do you think it can keep up the consistent, outstanding quality of seasons two through five? Yes. Absolutely. The, I mean, the writers approve season after season after season. That they're, it's just awesome. It's done, yeah. Yeah. It, it's, they haven't, like, it, what's crazy about S.H.I.E.L.D. is that, like, so many other ones, I got, you know, Arrow or Flash or whatever, like, there's episodes or seasons that, like, I don't like this one as much. You know, it didn't keep me going as hard as, like, the last season did. Yeah. But S.H.I.E.L.D. usually feels like, since, they, since the episode. whole Winter Soldier thing, yep. like, it's just kind of like, oh, sh I gotta see what happens next. I, I gotta see what happens I love next. It. What are they doing? I and love it so a much. Job. Not only is every episode consistent, but it stays so fresh because they change it up so much. Yeah. We're in space in the future. Yeah. We're not doing a freak of the week thing yeah. you know, every week. We're not fighting the same villain over, yeah. you know, it's not like... Like, don't get me wrong, I love The Flash, but there's only so many different ways you can have him run real, real, real fast. Yeah, <laughs> you know? exactly. And especially when you have him fighting someone who runs real fast. Exactly. You gotta change it up sometimes. And S.H.I.E.L.D. does such a good job changing it up and keeping it fresh and keeping us, like, enjoying these characters and stuff. And... I mean, I could be biased because I have a son named Colson, but I don't think I am. I think I, I need him that because it's yeah. a good show. Yeah. I'm biased for my son. I'm not biased for any reason either. Yep. What? No! <laughs> That's all the Q&As. Uh, what should the poll be, Aaron? Who is this here? Well, we did the two people in the outfit. Somebody we know and somebody we don't know. Turns out, we didn't know. Didn't know. What did I get for this? We will know who it is once they're revealed. Well, of course we'll know it then. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, I don't know who it is. Well, yeah. No, not yet. But when I find out who it is, it someone, it's someone you know. we know or someone we don't. Someone we know, someone we don't know. Go uh, yeah, I want to know who it is. Blindway. They should tell us who it where is. Where you can find that poll. I think it's somebody we know. But yeah, but who? Yo yo. You don't think it's Deke. 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 It's fine. Deke. Why not? He's on a ship, and he would know that the ship's coming back. So Deke on. went back in the past with him. Why not? It's in a loop. Maybe. It's not Deke. What about Sonara? What? Yeah. So he just has her as a seer now? Yeah. He brings her back with the GH-23. Does he have to... Sends her after them into the future. She's a creep. She lives a long time. She lives all, all those memories. She has all those memories. She can see everything. And she's like, me, 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 me. Now she talks now. <laughs> Do you think in order for her to give him a vision, he has to play with her balls first? No, she hasn't played with her balls. All right, guys, thank no. you so much for watching. Make sure you guys no. hit the subscribe button. Leave her balls alone. Uh, Let her rest in peace. Check out our Patreon no. over there. You can see our poll no. and everything there. No. And uh, make no. sure you go in the description box for everything extra there. No!